Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm and we are kicking off the episode here today with some bathing so helps if you turn on the mower and yeah we've got a lot of grass fields to process there we go just enable fast farming by just pressing L1 and double tap X so Unfolds and unfolds rapidly. I can miss a bit, so let's get this completely loaded again. There we go. Hopefully, that should work better. Uh, no. Let's try that again. <laughs> there we go. We've got it now, so I just had to unfold it back up partially and then unfold it again, but. So yeah, we've got some grass fields to do. We've got this grass area here. And then we've got our six grass areas up here. And all these are going to be for silage and... Nope, we're not going to be sending them. We're going to be putting them into the biogas plant. And obviously we're up to 20 mil, so the last episode for those who haven't watched. We sold a bunch of cookies, like, for... Spend, like, half mil on bits we need for the cookies and yeah about half a million pound or so the investment has really returned what ten times the amount I think you know like 18 million ballsy some of that was a bit of bits of flour and sugar we had as well as well as raisins so not all of it was just the cookies and that but certainly a good chunk of that was the cookies so, but yeah, the plan going to be is get all these grass fields mowed and built. We'll put them onto the trailer. And remember, we're doing 50,000 of bells, so hopefully, this all should be fit on to one tray load. And then, as, as we're wrapping up the series here, I'll say we've got within like five episodes or so there. But again, as I will say, is I'm not rushing to the end. Well, I do means whatsoever. I may jump cuts or bits, but in terms of the amount of time, effort, and passion that we put into this has not changed from episode one. Because yeah, I love this amount of the details and that. Of course, it's an auction deep map. You can't go wrong with an auction deep map. Same with you can't go wrong with a Sabuki map, a Nancy Boy map. You know the level of details that goes into those maps are absolute phenomenal. Anyways, we need to get these bells sorted, so... Actually, we do have some more money coming in, so... If we go to our contracts, we've done our three cultivating contracts. And yeah, that is what? Six, six and a half grand or so, six thousand six hundred pounds. But yeah, you may be asking, why are we doing these contracts? simple reason is, we've come onto this map, when we started the series, all the way back, and yeah, we started off as a contractor. We had equipment, we had a small yard, had a little workshop that had like, a couple of class tractors and that, we had all the basics of contracting. I don't think we had a harvester to start off with, but over the years and that, we've been on this map, we have worked our way up. And yeah, we are become a footnote in the community here at Court Farm and the surrounding area in Banwell. So, as I'm going to say, it is worth 20 million. Yep, a part of that is going to be going into a castle we're going to be purchasing for 10 million pounds. But also, with the rest of that money, a lot of that is going to go into. Making the community better, I think, yeah, about a million or two, depending on the cost of productions and that. So yeah, the reason why we're doing all this site's work is putting our own custom BG down. Also included is a seed factory and a fertilizer production. Because, yeah, like, around the area here, there ain't too many facilities around the area at Banwell, like, to your closest like seed fa factory or fertilizer production factory 
really looked at hours of transport in my Perhaps the shortest transport would be from Gavemouth near Bristol and that. But then again, it's the holding that, the lorry and that. Whilst if we have something here, something that can be blended into the countryside, because as remember, even though it's like a era of out, outstanding natural beauty, it is a beautiful British countryside at the end of the day. Especially, it's between Bristol and Western Supermare. Western Supermare is a good beach area, and for those coming from the city and that, and the surrounding areas, yeah, you really would see a blob on the map of a BGA, so we need to be tactile how we do this. So, yeah, how many bells have we produced so far? We have produced three bells from this field. If I had to guess how many bells we'll get in total, Ooh, I'll say 20 or so bells. Yeah, I'll say 20 is a, is a good figure in that. And the error in question we're looking at putting down the BGA is over here. And we've already had some coming over. Pop through the hedgerow, so. Yeah, the foundation has been set down, so. We've had some coming in, living out the ground. We put down some concrete in that. There are a couple of lights around the area, so that is good. Also, I noticed they had to put a bit of gravel down where we start to bank here. I'm not sure why they need to put the gravel down, but hey, I'm not complaining. I'm not an architect or anything like that, so. Or an engineer for that matter. But yeah, if, if our architect did this, bloody hell, that would not be leveled or sloped whatsoever. But yeah, so we've got some foods ready as well because we're going to be swapping out the cows at Stonebridge Farm. Also, we've got the drin to do. So yeah, we get all those tasks done. But yeah, so. Let me get this bean sorted, and then I'll see folks at the BGA of where we start to put place on our productions. And there we go, we are done with the bathing. And yet, yeah, in total, actually, she wasn't too far off our total. I said 20 bells, I think it was. And it turned out to be 23. And there's a reason why we got a bit of a mixed batch of cutters. Because initially, the bather we had on these were the green bells. But with the green wrapper option. However, as I went to return the mower and some. Just other bits and that sort of slight decluttering. So, for example, got rid of. I can't remember what we got rid of. Put it pops up in the used market. No. Well, yeah. 
can't remember exactly what we sold. Ah, uh, things like, you no, know, yeah, things like the plow and that, and some other little bits and that. Yeah, it wasn't too much, it was something like, ooh, 40 grand or so. Oh yeah, and rather than, all mitigating the cost, as I would normally do with, because I'm a multiplayer, if I make a bit of a cock up, so I'll actually spend 5 grand, and I don't use that, use that equipment, then yeah, I'll go to the bank, swap it over, big bamboo, Bob's your uncle. And yeah, I picked this area because, like, for one, the entrance, like, as you see, like, us entering with the lorry, there's no gates, and yeah, that's what I'll call a, like, a double gate width. Yeah, double gate width. Compared to something like this, it would be more of a singular gate. And yeah, even with the hedgerows, you can go through them. It's still a rather tight, and especially where we're going to be careful with the embankment. Maybe that's another thing we do is... It depends on, like, yeah, what equipment's being used. Perhaps we can get some dirt in that. I know, just go whack it on here and build up a little bourbon in that, but... Anyways, let's go into the main creme de la creme, the crop of the episode, or... Oh, well, wherever that scene goes. So yeah, go to our production. So obviously, you can put your like your base game BJ down, and that is too big. A 250 kilowatt is more ideal. However, if we go down to the end, so there is several stuff we need to put down. So first one being the industrial BGA. Ah, uh, yeah, just looking at where everything's going. Uh, something like that. How is the ground? Not too bad. We can smooth things out. Because, yeah, I am going to decorate this. Yeah, it's like, it's like when it gets to here, it gets a bit clumpy in that. But, yeah, so that is initially production number one. And thankfully, our bales actually fermented quite quickly, so... Yeah, over a million litres. I think I'll put them in just yet, yeah, so I'll go over here. Park the lorry... Yeah, somewhere like that. Because I still need to think about manoeuvrability. Because that's why I've used the lorry now as the... For this area, the biggest example. I doubt we're going to have like a double tray of setup, but maybe that's something we need to consider. So looking at the ratios and that, actually not too bad. So we'll get electric charge, methane and digestate. So yeah, if we did it ourselves we can profit. So for example, the electric cell to the grid, the methane could go as part of the natural gas and that, or as part of the gas industry. And there is a plethora of options, like soy, sorry, manure, sugar beet, sugar beet cut, potatoes. And if you want to make more digestate, you can just put straw in, or straw and slurry in, so not too bad. But yeah, so next we're going to need as part of our area, uh, a few refineries, so got different options like fertilizer productions and that. Ah, yeah, actually, I want to whack that down somewhere, so. Ooh, look at that. That looks good, so. Somewhere like that. How's the landscaping? Eesh, not too bad. Can we smooth that out? I perhaps should have saved this before we did any work, so soft and terrain. The furnace isn't going to be used too much, so I'm not too worried. Actually, can we do anything about these areas here at the back? Okay, we'll get to the outside the boundaries of the map. 
So yeah, we are smoothing, so let me smooth this out a sec. So you know what, actually that ain't too bad. Minor the ground textures, which I can't really do anything too much about that. Yeah, that's more of a map thing I've noticed with this series, but... Hey -oh, not every map is perfect. So yeah, that's the BG down. We got like photos productions and that, so perhaps whack down a few of these so we can do solid to liquid. Sorry to sorry I'm in order to dry. And then digestate to solid fertilizer. Also we got this, this is one we've used recently. And all you need to do is put was that lime, water. Yeah, that's perhaps a bit too much in that way of the ingredients. Fill products. Oh that's a big boy. I doubt we're gonna need that for the area net. Because we've got our seed and fertilizer production. Which, I think, you know what, could go somewhere like here. So yeah, we can make fertilizers and seed from that. Also, it could be worth, for the area, to have a line crusher net. So that, because remember, you need to think about movability, and also storage as well, so... Let me get a bit creative with this, and I'll see you folks in a few moments when I get this all sorted. Because I'm going to proper deck out this area. Minus ground textures, of course. And there we go. So, yeah, just a little quick jump cut there. Just because I wasn't sure how I was going to place everything down. And especially in terms with where I'm going to place everything down. So, first of all... So I go in. Oh, do we have to do the crazy hokey pokiness with this? Ah, yep, so that's gonna be fun, so let's go and do that again. Thankfully we can lift these bells up like magic. I said like magic. And I have no idea if those bells are going in. Yes, they are, and... Yep, that is way too much bells, because... That is like 1.15 million litres, and... This holds, what, half a mil, by the looks of it? Let's go boop, boop, boop. Yeah, half a mil. Saying that, consumption rate is... Actually, very rapid. So, actually, you know what? That is fine. So, obviously, you've seen the BGA. So, how this works is from here, all the electricity and the methane gets transferred over to here, and through some chemical process and technical stuff, I'm not sure. That doubles our output combined with this, so not too bad. Next, as we head over here, we've got our biodiesel factory. So, good thing about this, it's got input over here, got your output here, and also you've got an output on site, so it's drive through ball, we can drive around without any issues. Next, this is our fuel refinery. So yeah, it's going to have a look, so... First of all... Yeah, oh no, sorry, this is our ethanol and diesel plant. So, we can make diesel and ethanol. Because obviously, diesel is for your like, lorries and trucks and that. And your typical cars and pickups nowadays will have some form of ethanol, whether it's like 99 octane or 89 octane. Or at least here in the UK now, it's typically between 97 and 95. So yeah, not too bad. 
So yeah, that's the ethanol diesel factory. I do have another factory, just in case it gets busy in that, or this becomes like a hub in that, because I can see with all this, so we're getting a little bit of electricity from the air, it's been some air turbines and that. So yeah, it's distributing. Also with the fuel refinery, you can not just make electricity. With the addition of canola, sunflower, diesel, not diesel, soybeans, all this, sugar cane, sugar beet cut, potatoes and wood chips. We can make diesel, bit of methane, <laughs> some pig foods, no surprising. And uh, what's that, compost? So you can use that if you are on PC. And yeah, similar inputs. Actually, no, it ain't. Canoe oil, sunflower oil, olive oil, and soybean oil. And you get diesel out of that. So that ain't too bad. So that's that. And then, sure. Over here, I've got our line crusher that we've used on the series. As we head over here. That's our seed and fertilizer factory, so you can make your seeds from your crop one to one with a bit of additional of uh, fertilizers. Or with a bit of manure, you can get solid fertilizer. And actually, that that may come in handy for me on a future Let's Play series or a current Let's Play series. And just yeah, we've got like so many productions. And yeah, also we've got three of the four furs furs reproductions over here, so another showcase those. And then lastly, we've got three specially designated and well supplied underground storage. So you put your liquids in the ground and it gets sucked up, pumped up, and comes out those little spouts. So that is our new, well not so our, it's the community's new biogas area, so if we compare like, the footprint, it's easy accessible, actually I may try to get access, could I make this bit a bit wider, so, yeah we can, so set that point there. And yeah, just gently raising the burb, only a little bit. Again, don't have to go too much or too crazy. Because one thing I don't want to do is serve the water flow of the river too much. Like for example, all that we've just done, that's going to narrow the channel. So that may raise the water here a little bit. But yeah, from as far as I can see, yeah, it doesn't really, it's not, it's not like the Mississippi River. The only thing we can really perhaps do is just smooth it out a touch, so... It's just less jaggedy, so... Tools, soften the terrain. And yeah, just... Keep it all big soften. There we go. And yeah, something like that. And that I'm actually happy with. So if we do get any things like the Steiger tractors and that, with a trailer and that. Actually, let's give out a little test, shall we? Let's get a Steiger trailer and that. And see how this fits in. So yeah, as a still comparison, that was the old BG area. And like, yes, it's big and that. The problem was access and that, but we got the Steiger here. I think, yeah, we've gotten in temporary bars from the dealership. I said we're going to borrow it for a couple of hours. We've got to pay the full price now for a day. Because at the end of the day, we're in a position of where we don't need to be stingy now. We've got nothing loaded onto the trailer at the moment. Actually, no, shall we freeze that? Trailer, so. If this get, can get in, then I'm pretty sure... Ooh, I should be careful with the banks. 
Yeah, if this can get in, then pretty much anything can. And yeah, that just shows you like something like this you'll see on a American map. Not a map, on, yeah, not on the map, somewhere based in Banwell, between Bristol and Western Supermare here in the UK. It's not the Cotswolds, but it's the next thing best, so... So yeah, I just want the bases, like where the tracks are, so... I want to say we've got a few more inches. Okay, in fairness, we do have a swivel axle, but in terms of the re relative of ease, okay, minor clipping on that, but that's more of a driving standard than that, that's more of a on me, so actually, you know what, I am happy with this, like, can navigate through that, oh yeah, it's obviously yeah, maybe a little sidetracked to that, but yeah, it's just something different. Do something for the community in that, so yeah, overall, I'm happy. Only thing I can think of is the poor people who's coming here or works here is going to have to deal with the dealership, not the dealership, the animal dealer in that, with its rabbit in, yeah, just rabbit in voice, so you know what? So let's go and return those, so Psyker and the two low kings and uh, just for future references so the front one is 40 35 and a bit thousand years and yep I think now all we need to do is sort out the cows of that and then in the next episode what we'll do is we'll direct drill all these fields put cotton in because, yeah, as much as I would have loved to dab in all of this, when we even had, like, a couple of million, like, one bit million, I would have jumped on this in a heartbeat. But, because of where we are at, even after we've all done this, 19 million pounds. That is absolutely mind-boggling, so... Uh, yeah, we'll leave the lorry here. We'll walk over to Stonebridge Farm and then we'll sort out the cattle. And there we go, as we are here at Stonebridge Farm. Oop. Minor intrusions there. So, yeah, let's go and drive into here. We've got a massive trailer for TMR. That TMR is what we've got in storage because we had, well, I think about 420 or so thousand years. Cut that turn a bit sharp there. Let's crank that steering. So, yeah, this should be enough for the cows and that. Yeah, it's okay driving when you're not not in cab. But once you're in cab, you do need to think about like like go to here. And then well, as you think you're hitting the wall, that's when you steer, so Alright, we'll park up here. So yeah, we've got two hundred Angus cows. They are two years old, so they are fine to go to slaughter, so we'll get 72 grand minus 6 grand in transport fees. A hundred pounds per cattle. That is what, like 8% we're losing on? But you know what? I am willing to do that. So yep, yeah, that's that. But now we need to replace them with some heifers, so puberty and that breeding are not too worried. And we're gonna have a year left. Yeah, about a year left or so. So yeah, 18 months or 12 months. Yeah, it's only gonna remark too much. How much is it to transport one cow over so? 
actually, if we get 12 of those holes, technically we're still making money. Only £20 per cow. Though, so. We've got some Holsteins. And. Yeah, let's go with some brown Swiss. Not to be mistaken with Swiss cheese, so. Yep, actually, Ferris, that was a net gain for us. And actually, I do wonder. I should not pop up here. No, we need to go to our animals tab. So not the court farm stuff. So yeah, actually they still keep our water. Wait a minute, how did they get hay in there? Because we did not fill up with hay initially, so crap. They're going to be less productive, so we've got a couple of options. We could keep microfeeding them on TMR and that. And then, yeah, just keep on top of it. But then again, as well, I did say once we do run out of TMR, these cows can get away with some silage, so I think they're going to be fine for the time being. What are you doing here? No idea. Maybe something I've done in between episodes, so yeah. These are lovely and they're comfortable for now, so let's just let them eat this hay net. And then, yeah, we'll put the TMR in. So, right, it's the next day. I'll say they're done with whatever they've used and. I'm just going to put the rest of the TMR in here. And I do love that size boss tree. That is an absolute beast. So yeah, if we go down to our animal analysis. Yeah, ain't the best, but you know what? I'm happy with that. And yeah, even though we're going to keep these cows for too long. I do want to smack down a milk tank essential, which I may have. Oh no, that's. Oh no, that's under containers, silos. Please say we've got it. So you've got our warehouses under site extensions. Ah, there we go. I don't have the other one I had down. Alright, fair enough, so... I think for now, just go and... Smack you down, smack you down, smack you down, smack you down, and smack you down. Actually, does that change the situation with our cows at the main farm? No, it doesn't. So, we didn't have a milk extension at the main farm. It's just when you come down to Stone Bridge, yes, you get more cattle in that. But also at the same time, you do have a smaller tank. And actually, I'll if I can get out of here. I am wondering where is the manure and silage outlet? So, because that's something I have not looked at before. So. Bear with me a sec. Alright, so you know what? Couldn't find a manure outlet or anything like that. Solid or liquid, which makes sense because these are grazing cows. These are for pastures and that, so. Yeah, having sorry tanks, that is what you need, so. I think for now, let's go and smack you down. I'll tie these up a bit later on, they ain't too bad with the terrain. But yeah, now what we'll see is if we skip ahead another hour. I know we've got Drin to do that, but yeah, for now we'll skip on that for the time being. So yeah, pause the time. And 
Walter. Yeah, we've got Surrey. Sweet. So yeah. Actually, wait a minute, is that not from over here? Because I do have some Surrey in storage. Ah, that's mixing with... Wait a minute, is it mixing? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, I'm generally not sure, but yeah, it says... The equipment in your tank, 40,000 years, which doesn't make sense. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, I'm confusing. That's the thing with cows, and that sometimes does confuse me quite a bit. And also, I've put on a proper bunker silo now, so don't need to worry about mucking up the pens. Okay, maybe perhaps we do, but besides from that, we are looking golden, so I'll keep that for the time being. I don't know why I lose up straw because they don't need straw. They do need water, so we'll get that sorted. And we sold that with our Bowser here, so yeah, like these little tankers here, even though this is like the unused um, capacity version, which I'll be using mainly it's for the or distributor and that, because just save one back and forth and that in between episodes and that when I'm filling up the water distributor production and that, so but you know what, heck it, since it was like the main farm that's going to be one thing I'm going to be really focusing on on the next series and that, because as much as I love using like the unrealistic equipment and that there's a time and place for everything, and you know, I've tried to avoid using it on this series. I think the really, only thing I've really unrealistic is one, this. <laughs> that's one. That's two. And maybe the one with 40 root crops now. But apart from that, and it's like some of the pallets and that, to be fair, and that, so. But yeah, I think going down the road, I will wind my neck in. That's them satisfied. And yeah, so we've got full of seed here. But you know what? Before we do our fields, let's head down to field 18 in a sec for to round off the episode and do our maybe our final zone contract. Let's be getting more coming up over the coming months because, yeah, we're in March, so we can be doing more contracts. And next episode, we will focus on our stuff mainly, but bear with me a sec. I actually can't remember too much what I was saying, but yeah, like this moves like to be our final zone contract, and that, yeah, we'll do others, and that. But yeah, next episode is mainly just the final drilling off these fields and that. So yeah, our grass fields, field 90, field 88. They've all had their applications, double applications of Surrey or manure not put on. So yeah, I am happy with that. I get my little grass field as well at the bottom left of the map. But you know what? I may just sell that. Like, in terms of transporting and that. Actually, are we doing. Ooh, make sure we're doing cotton. Oh, phew. <laughs> Luckily, this was a field for cotton and that. Because otherwise, we'll have had to bring the cultivator down, cultivate the fields and that. Piss off the farmer and that. Because I'm sure. He. Or, yeah, he's had his own farming techniques and that. But. Yeah, looks like we didn't cock this one up. And yeah, this may, may be a short episode. Feels like a short episode, but I've done a lot of rambling, a lot of talking and that. And to be honest, I've been talking a lot of shit on my ass, pretty much, but... Anyways, that's where we're going to leave it today. So yeah, we've got two episodes to go. So the next one will be... The Drilling 
and the final episode, which would be maybe a little bit of a mega episode of like a double episode length, maybe, if that works out. Oh, I'm not sure. But anyways, yeah, that'll be like the harvesting and bathing. And yeah, just sell everything off, so... Yeah. That's where I'm going to leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this will be for more Evo Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.